Hey, what's up, you bad Larrys? It's your boy, Daily Tactics, and uh, before this video starts, I just wanted to say, subscribe to PewDiePie. I mean, come on, help out YouTube. All right, now, today we are in part two of this three-part Felution trilogy that we got going on right now. Um, so last time, you might remember that Aura Singh uh, managed to capture this Republic base here, and Commander Bly ended up getting knocked out. So did Aura Singh, but both are back on the field now. Aura Singh has recovered and uh, moved in her army to fully occupy the base, and Commander Bly is uh, now back here. His troopers dragged him out of the action and then uh, retreated back to this sort of side mountain base over here. Um, they've got multiple turrets. Uh, they've got multiple clone troopers on the mountain itself, above the mountain, higher up, uh, and then also in the swamp lands below they have more 327 star core troopers. They also have one more turret over here as well. Now the battle droids have uh, a number of super battle droids with them. They have some AAT tanks. They also have quite a bit of infantry, all of which is coming from this uh, former Republic base right now with Aura Singh, and they're all going to be culminating and attacking this... Uh, this new Republic outpost area in the second part of this trilogy. Either way guys, I'll be right back and uh, we can get this video started. Alright ya boyos, let's go ahead and press start and see if Aura Singh with her battle droid army is going to be able to take out these clone troopers. A little bit of skirmishing right off the bat here as the uh, the clones closest to the droids begin to open fire a little bit through the swamp lands. Um, probably pretty hard to hit some targets on this map because as you can see there's just so much uh, vegetation all around sort of being able to block uh, any sort of blaster shots that are made, but we're seeing a little bit of skirmishing going on right now, mainly between uh, the frontmost defenses here of the Republic and uh, the frontmost battle droids. The droids from the base itself seem to be spreading out. Actually, a few of them going up on this ramparts here. Um, if they've got snipers, this could be a really good position to shoot from below. They're actually getting shot at a tiny bit. Um, and then they're also getting on this hill. We can see Aura Singh right there, actually, with her sniper rifle, gearing up for a shot, possibly. That's pretty cool. Um, but then the battle droids on the uh, on the ground bit over here are starting to enter into the swamp land and uh, be a bit more aggressive in this battle. We're already seeing some pretty massive losses from the battle droids, um, but they definitely still have enough troopers to put up a very very good fight. They they're spawning in here with quite a quite a hefty army, probably three to one uh, in terms of the battle droids compared to the clone troopers. This AAT is kind of stuck. Oh, this AAT up here going for like a mega flank, but it gets hit by a rocket and explodes. I wonder if it managed to get any kills. It actually did kill this turret and all the troopers around it, so that's a pretty big get for the battle droids right there. Um, but they still do have uh, this turret over here and this turret down here that the they got to take out. So the clones definitely are still set up in a pretty excellent position here. Um, and they're continuing to skirmish with the battle droids, continuing to fire their rounds at them and getting some good kills here and there as they do so. This is definitely going to be a pretty interesting battle. I think it'll actually last a pretty long time too. There's a lot of battle droids and a lot of clones, so we're in for a bit of a treat. Uh, as you can see, like certain clones just don't have like an angle of fire really. Okay, these guys are starting to have one now as droids crest over there, but they're blocked by so much foliage in front of them that there's barely any space from which they can shoot from and uh, connect with any battle droids. These guys over here, they've actually got a wide open path straight down the middle, but no droids are actually taking that path, which is probably a very good idea by the droids. They should be sticking to the outskirts and edges of the battlefield to make sure that they're behind cover and sort of advancing in a more smart way. Um, we do have some large groups actually going straight down the middle here, though. Um, luckily, they've got vegetation for cover and things like that, though they are getting pretty heavily targeted by the clones. Um, this AAT is clearly struggling in this heavy vegetation. It's getting a few shots off, uh, but this is not a conducive environment for tanks, I would say. That one tank definitely had a very bright idea going around the far flank. This tank, obviously, <laughs> not as bright, um, but it just managed to get wiped out. It didn't have any infantry support over there, and the clones were kind of ready for it. The third and final tank over here for the battle droids, sort of coming down the middle here, cutting through some uh, vegetation here and there. Uh, maybe trying to get an angle on the clones, but it <laughs> it hits a rock and uh, and topples over slightly. Yeah, it's it's just not a great great really region for tanks to really make any sort of a difference. Um, these clones down the very middle here are definitely taking some heavy losses. There's very few of them left, um, but behind them they've still got a, a solid number of troopers ready to fight in this battle. Also, these two turrets are still alive, which is pretty impressive. 
Having these two turrets alive at this stage in the game is going to be huge because as there are less droids, it's going to be harder for the droids to counter these turrets from a distance especially. So uh, the clones keeping those alive is definitely going to be essential to their defensive here. These guys over here starting to take a few losses though. Um, not too many though. They've actually still got a very solid number of troopers. This guy's actually got a, uh, a shotgun rifle, which is always kind of cool to see. You can see it shoots like five... Um, shots at once, which is sick. It does have a slower reload time, and that's sort of the drawback, and it is worse at range, but man, that thing can be devastating. Um, let's check in on Bly. Bly is sort of in the very far back of the battle, so he's not going to get involved until the very end if the droids do make it that far, so um, for now, he's just sort of chilling while his troopers do the majority of the work here in the battlefield, and that's okay. You know, he was on the front lines of the last battle. He got pretty pretty badly injured. I feel like his troopers sort of understand if he takes a back seat on this one and doesn't um, participate as much as he usually does. He already did a great deal for the Republic in the last battle and now he's um, taking a bit of a break here. So I, I think that's okay for him as a commander to do. But I'm sure the, the troops just appreciate him being on the uh, on the battlefield at all. A lot, of, a lot of commanders wouldn't be willing to do that for their troopers. Here's Aura Singh getting down and dirty with her sniper rifle um, on the front lines with her droids, popping off a few shots at the clones from a distance. Um, that's the nice thing about heroes having snipers is they sort of stay alive a lot longer than um, than those with lightsabers or closer range weapons. It's, it's cool because I like to be able to see the heroes throughout the entire entirety of the battle. Here comes an AAT pushing in a very, very far, just sort of choosing to ignore these clones to its immediate right and go for the main clone defenses over here. Um, I would say that's probably a pretty good idea. You know, go for the clusters that are giving you the most trouble and your troopers the most trouble. Um, it doesn't have too good an angle. Oh, it had a really good angle right there, but it kept going for some reason. Now would be a very good time to fire. Oh, and it takes out that turret. Did it? Yes, that turret is dead. That's actually huge. That's that's big. Is this turret dead too? This turret is also dead. So those are some pretty big gets for the uh, the droids coming forward and uh, pretty big losses for the clone troopers, if I do say so myself. And this AAT tank continues to wreak havoc on the clone defensive lines, but it's having trouble with the terrain like the, uh, the tanks before it. We'll see if uh, the clones do wisen up to it and start to really target it. It looks like a few troopers are targeting it, but uh, they really need their whole forces getting on this thing or else it could just ravage the rest of their lines. Um, this tank is actually really a game changer right now for the battle droids before they weren't doing too hot uh, against the clone defenses, but this thing is just plowing through them and opening it up for their infantry in the way back to, uh, to get some licks in as well. It seems like the majority of the droids are sort of culminating on the right side over here, and um, that's not a not a bad strategy. Sticking to the flanks can be a very powerful move. It also seems like they've got some good cover over here that they can utilize and things like that. The problem is, once they round this corner over here, and we can see a few droids have tried it, um, these clones that are chilling right here can just devastate them. This AAT did end up going down eventually. Very good for the clone trooper defense. If that thing had continued to go through them like butter, uh, it would have been just devastating for the clones. So, very good that that thing went down. Clone numbers on the front lines are thinning considerably. We've got about five troopers over here. Um, the main defensive over here is down to maybe eight troops. Uh, these guys up top here, though, they're, they're still cruising. They've still got a good number of soldiers with them. Um, but overall, the clones are, are, are starting to lack in terms of numbers of soldiers and uh we'll sort of see if they can manage to hold it for the rest of this battle yeah so the droids over here seem to be taking a breather sticking to uh to the defenses these guys over here doing a little bit of skirmishing um looks like for the most part they only have e5s this guy's got an e6 though e5s aren't the best for at range battles and uh this is definitely one of them so I think the droids with sniper rifles and uh, heavier machine guns really need to sort of pull their weight here so that once uh, they get closer range then the E5s can really do their business but for now the E5s are just kind of garbage rifles um, but luckily the droids do have a, a certain number of snipers and machine guns that they can utilize for these longer range engagements also, the sort of cover-to-cover -cover strategy that they're utilizing is pretty good because it keeps um, engagements low, which is good for the droids. Uh, we're seeing the, the battlefield sort of slow down a little bit as um, the droids start taking more and more cover and uh, the clones sort of lessen in numbers. 
and uh, we can actually check out the numbers. So blue on the minimap in the top left are the clone check troopers. You can see there's still a good amount on the battlefield. Not as many as the droids though. The droids still have uh, quite, a, quite a few troopers. Let's actually try and pull this whole squad of droids from up here because they're not shooting or anything. Let's try and pull them down back onto the battlefield. Just sort of get them involved in the battle. That's really just sort of the AI derping right there. And um, I think it's fair for us to do that. Um, since we did that for them, why don't we see if we should maybe pull any, pull any clone troopers back? I feel like these guys still have a solid defensive position. Mm, these guys here as well. Really, I don't think any clones need to be pulled back currently, or else I, I would have out of fairness for moving the droids. But I think the clones are actually still in a very solid position. Um, yeah, they're still getting nicked. Oh, that guy ended up dying. I don't know why. It's always so sad when the clones die. You guys know I love me some Clone Wars. I mean, that's the main content I put on my channel. Actually, that's one thing that a lot of people sort of... Um, either jokingly criticize me about or yeah, for the most part it's, it's like memes like when I upload my one uh, my <laughs> one like first order video for the month or my one uh, galactic civil war video for the month people are like oh, well see you guys next month <laughs> which I think is pretty funny um, and it comes out of a place of love which is nice and sort of a good me I love when my channel gets a good meme behind it I think that's fun um, but all in all I just I don't like, just sort of to explain myself, the Clone Wars are just kind of my favorite era. I just, I love doing them, and I'm always more inspired when I do clone videos than I am when I do Galactic Civil War videos, so, um, it's just something I enjoy personally, so that's why I do so much of it, um, and I do try and sprinkle in a little bit of Galactic Civil War and a little bit of, uh, the sequels content and things like that every so often, just to sort of make sure everyone's got a little bit of content for themselves on this channel. Um, but that's just sort of the FYI, so you know, that's that's the reason behind it. Aura Singh getting really deep in the battle here, and she's getting hit quite a bit. She might be going down rather soon um, if she continues to take this much damage. Uh, but for now, she's trying to crawl away from the damage, I think. Oh yeah, and there she goes, finally going down um, after putting up a very good fight right there. Uh, she might have nailed a few of these clone troopers back here with her sniper. I'm not totally sure. She probably should have checked her kill count. Um, but I didn't want to mess up the battle at all. I wanted to let her continue to do her thing and not interfere in any way, shape, or form. So, yeah. She's a she's a pretty neat character. Um, I'm glad she's in the mod. I'd like it if there were more, um, more characters added to the mod. Because that's always one of my favorite things is doing battles about characters. Because, uh... They're people you, you already know, and you sort of, like, you get more of a feel for the battle, and you feel more emotional ties to it, I guess. So, that's why I do a lot of, like, you know, uh, Commander Gree versus General Grievous or whatever. I just wish there were more bad guy characters. Like, I feel like, in terms of the Clone Wars, the the Republic's just stacked. Like, in, in terms of the mod. Like, they've got probably 40 or 50 clone trooper commanders alone then there's like hundreds of different jedi you can choose from um and even some like leaders like tarkin and things like that uh but then when you get over to the cis you've got like you've got a few bounty hunters you can use but even they don't count a ton i would say because like you can't use jango fett in the clone wars because he dies at the very beginning of it um you can't really use um like Bosk because he was super young, even though I have used Boston Bosk in the past because you know sometimes you just gotta set lore aside. But you know whatever. You can't really use Dengar because he wasn't really around. You can really only use Aura Singh and then Cad Bane. There's only like the clone trooper disguise version of him in the mod, so that makes it a little bit difficult to use. But you get what I'm saying. Like there's barely, and, and then you got some Sith. Like you can use Darth Maul probably, but not really because he wasn't involved in the Clone Wars. Besides, like, you know, a behind-the-curtain sort of a role. Um, and then you can't really use um, Darth Maul because he dies right away. I mean, you can, obviously, if you want to. Um, it just wouldn't be really lore-conducive. Um, and then you can use Count Dooku, which is nice. You can use General Grievous. Um, and you can have, you know, random sort of droid leader leaders. Like, you can do IG-88. And, um, you can, of course, have some, like, tactical droids in there and stuff. But I feel like the 
the CIS needs more droid armies um, in the mod. Like, a droid leader. Sorry, not dro more droid armies. I, I feel like it would make the, um, the battles a little bit more interesting if we could have more droid leaders. But that's why I do General Grievous so often is because he's the one who sort of works with everything because he's almost always on the front lines of the battles in the show anyway and things like that. So, I don't know. That's my thought on thought on the whole thing. But, you know, we'll see what happens. They're doing a great job with the mod, honestly. Um, it's come so far since the initial development. They've added so much content so much material to work with. Um, seriously, cheers to the Galaxy at War mod team for, for continuing to do what they do. It's awesome. Not to mention the community surrounding the mod. Like, um, There's a ton of community maps that have recently come out, and I, I started downloading a lot of those because I was kind of tired of the base mod maps that are um, in the mod. So that's really cool, too, is that the community is involved. And there are, there are skin packs and things like that for the mod. Though, it's sometimes kind of hard to find them because there's not one place where they're just all listed together. Um, and some of them are broken or things like that, so it's a little bit of a, a risk going for those. I don't know, I'm rambling about nothing. <laughs> um, the droids, meanwhile, in the background, have pushed up considerably. They're now actually at the base of the hill. They've, they've made steep movements forward, um, but they've still got troopers in the back lines over here also sort of helping out the men who are who are coming very very far forward we've also got some troopers in the straight down the middle sort of section of the map so the fact that the droids are attacking from multiple angles is definitely a very good thing to do because it sort of makes the clones a little bit more split on how to defend um, and it makes their job a lot harder except now they don't have a ton of troopers left um, and I don't know if the droids are really going to be able to make this happen and, and they're getting sort of butchered right here on this base of the hill as they try to climb up, climb up it they're getting met by these clones up here as well as these clones up here and this bad Larry and these bad Larrys so this is a this is a tough and tight spot for the clone or for the droids to be in, and they might end up uh, losing this battle here. Of course, never say never. They still got, uh, like, all of these guys are droid troopers, and these guys back here. Oh, they have a lot more back here than I thought they did. Um, this guy can come forward. I don't know why he's so far back. And then we got one guy in the middle actually. Now it seems like a lot of the dudes out here did end up dying. So I guess the droids could still do it, um, but they're gonna have to really optimize their troopers and and really make sure they use everyone fully. Like, each of these troopers needs to pull their weight pretty hard for this this W to come. Uh, and it seems like they're, they're still getting some fire off at the clone troopers. I haven't seen a clone trooper die in a while though, which is kind of worrying for um, for the droids because if, uh, if the clones don't start dying, then the droids don't start winning. Uh, let's check out some kills. This guy's got one kill. This guy's got none. This guy's got none. This guy's got none. He's also in a crater. <laughs> uh, this guy over here has six. That's pretty impressive. This guy has ten. This guy has nine. This guy has three and a ten kill. All right, these these guys up here are rolling it. This guy's got four. This guy's got sixteen. This guy's got none. You're the weakest link, but like, all these troopers did so amazing. How about these guys? This guy's got none, 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 one, one. All right, these guys less so. This guy's got two kills and a tank kill. That's pretty impressive. Anything with a tank kill is impressive. This guy's only got one kill. This guy over here's got two, and this guy's got one. That's pretty impressive. Let's check out the droids real quick. This guy's got none. 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 This guy's got two. All right, all right. I see you, the one guy pulling his weight over here. Ooh, wait. This guy's got four. That's that's pretty impressive. A lot of these guys have none, though. This guy's got three. That's not bad. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of be to be expected from attackers because um, defenders have it easy where they just have to stay in one place and um, spray their weapon wherever they can. Meanwhile, the droids who are attacking have to be a bit more strategic about it. It can be a lot harder to make contact with the enemy um, in an efficient way. So I totally get it why the droids have considerably less kills. Not to mention the E5 rifle sucks, and a lot of these guys have their E5 rifles. Um, I think a lot of the snipers and machine gunners died early in the battle because they were the ones who were actively being aggressive because they were able to from such a far distance while the e5 troopers tended to possibly die out a little bit sooner because they um they couldn't really hit anything from their range or sorry they didn't die sooner they stayed alive longer because they weren't able to hit anything from their range so um the clones might have seen them as a bit less of a threat i don't know these are all of course just guesses <laughs> it could be totally wrong um 
Either way, the droid's really having trouble now. Um, we're seeing many droids sort of go down without getting any kills here or advancing too far forward. Um, we're seeing the clones really start to solidify their position and they're getting to know their choke points. They're knowing what to do in those choke points. Um, it is just becoming a lot harder for the droids to get any sort of leeway on this hill battle. I think the droid's best bet is to really concentrate fire on like these five guys up here. Um, if they can, sorry, four guys? No, five guys. There's the guy in the crater. Um, if they can kill these guys, that'll be a pretty big advantage for them. Um, and then maybe try and grenade this guy because he's just causing a lot of problems for them and just sort of standing in their way. And yet they could easily get a grenade off on him, I feel like, but they're not. <laughs> um, but then you still got all these guys to deal with and these guys back here and these guys back here. Like, it's not a good situation for the droids currently. I, I don't think uh, this will be a dub for them, but we can always see it could. There's still potential here, I suppose. A lot of these guys in the very, way, way back over here are starting to die. There's a whole bunch who just like refuse to come forward. Let's get these guys forward. Also, I think this guy somehow got himself stuck. So we'll unstick him and bring him forward. There's sort of the, the end of the battle, trying to get people to actually fight still uh, type of a deal that we're having happen right now. Now that these dro uh, troopers came out, they're still starting to actually get a few few more shots off at the clones, but the clones um, still getting more kills on them. Oh, this guy here finally did die. There you go. Good job, droids. Was it one of you guys, maybe, who got that kill? Either way, nice job. Um, that'll, that'll be pretty huge. Now just sort of climb up there and... And get to firing at those guys, especially while you've got still troopers alive back here. That'd be good. Um, seems like a few droids sort of inching their way forward. They're skirmishing with uh, these two troops who still are, still are alive over here. And this guy here. Working on uh, taking those fellas out. Not really to much success. Yeah. It's a tough battle. I guess um, sort of the end of this trilogy could be... Um, oh, lots of droids going down right here. That's sad. Um, if the droids win, I suppose then they just continue to beat back on the retreating clones, maybe. Or maybe the clones try and do a counterattack. Um, and if the clones win, maybe they try and take back their base um, that the droids took from them. Um, either way, I think the, the third episode in this trilogy could be very, very cool. Or we could make it into a quadrilogy and, uh, and do more episodes after that, but... I like to sort of stick to the trilogy method. I think it's a good number of episodes for one map sort of a thing. Um, any more than that, the map might get stale. Unless it's a huge map and you really could do that, but um, there aren't that many huge maps. Not to mention, this map isn't all that big. There's like this main base here. Um, there's some wetlands over here and over here. But then really, this is the only other base part sort of a thing. All right, the droids are really dilly-dallying now. Um, and uh, we're, this video is getting pretty long. So we're just going to rush them up the hill. They're going to do what they can. And um, the outcome is completely up to them. Um, this is honestly probably even helping the droids. Helping them to um, you know, really sort of figure their situation out. And actually do a big push. And utilize the troopers that they've got. And uh, they are getting some shots off. I think they've dropped a clone or two. But overall... Um, at this point in the in the battle, they were done for anyway. They didn't have enough troopers to take out this many clones in such a rigorously um, settled position. Let's try and retreat the last three droids. Try and get them out of here. Um, they're getting shot at pretty heavily, but they might be able to skirt on out. So the retreat was called. These guys running through the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. Roger, Roger. We got fun games. Gotta love Guns N' Roses. And... They've made it out successfully. Aura Singh's body, chilling right there. Do you guys think we should bring Aura Singh back for the finale of the Aura Singh versus uh, Commander Bly trilogy, or do you think we should uh, leave her for dead? Obviously, Commander Bly lived through this. Did he get any kills? Nah, he didn't. But his troopers were in an awkward position where they weren't. They were really sort of the last stand bit where if the droids did manage to kill these guys here, then they would hold them off for as long as they could at this position. Um, Commander Bly sort of deserved a, a little respite from the war. Uh, let's check out the deaths here. So, um, let's see. Yellow are dead battle droids, and red are dead clone troopers. 
as we can see, clones obviously died in their defensive positions. Um, most of their frontal defenses got wiped through, and there's actually very few clones left alive. Maybe 20 clones are still alive. The droids, though, they lost a lot of troopers um, in clusters down the middle, as well as this right flank is where a lot of them died. Um, and then there's a few just sort of sprinkled throughout everywhere. Very few ended up getting to this last bit of the battle, and the last hope for the droids all died out right here, obviously. There wasn't enough to take the base, though, if we're being completely honest. Um, either way, actually a lot died right here, right off the bat. It's kind of interesting. Either way, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Comment and subscribe if you did. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Um, hit the notification bell if you want notifications too or whatever. Um, join all my social medias. Links are in the description below. And I'll see you all on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content. And hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.